So a few years back, my uh, gray and blue N64 controllers of uh, the OEM joysticks were so bad they needed replacing. I mean, they were just, you know, you know how they get. Um, so I went on Amazon. There were several different brands. Actually, I think at the time there were only like two different brands. Um, I don't remember this particular one that I'm reviewing today being on there. But anyway, um, and so I, so they had, you know, the reviews kind of were the same across the board. You know, everybody's got their different preferences and um, some have good units, some have bad units. Um, so I got the one that looked the best at the time, and it was this one. And I don't know, remember exactly um, what the brand is called or anything like that, um, but it's still on Amazon. I've still got it in my order history. I've got the review up on it um, from, my, from when I've previously replaced it. And um, basically, they, they worked pretty well. You can see they're very similar to a, in, a GameCube style. It's actually not the soft plastic. I, I've heard there's a new revision. But anyway, it's, it's a hard plastic like the original N64 controller, but it's a GameCube style. And um, it's nice and in that regard, I suppose. But the problem is, is it has way too much sensitivity. Um, and it doesn't um, hold center. So what I mean by that is after even just a minute uh, or two of play, it starts drifting. And it's really frustrating because the only way to fix it is to stop your game, unplug it, and then plug it back in. And within two minutes, it's going to be drifting again. So, um, like if you're playing Banjo Tooie, you're going to start walking a little bit, and eventually it's going to get bad enough to where like you're running in a direction. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, you're going to get drift. I mean, any, any game you're playing, you're going to get drift, and it makes it uh, really hard to uh, do anything. So it's it's really frustrating. Uh, so to that end, I decided uh, screw it. I'm going to try out uh, get, get replacements because it, it was just to the point where these weren't really working, and the sensitivity was so high that it was just it was very challenging to play with and to begin with um, granted it was better than the worn out OEMs but not much better um, so going back to my controllers here the gold one has the OEM uh, set in it it's a little bit worn out um, as you can see it's not um, too terribly bad um, but it's definitely not what it used to be um, but it's still pretty snappy I just played Smash Brothers with it and you know you could do all your moves I'm um, sometimes going to try to do an up smash really quickly it, it you know fuzzes out a little bit, but overall, you know, no problems, OEM unit. This controller hasn't had a whole lot of playtime behind it. The other two, um, the gray one especially, uh, was the one that got with my N64 many, many years ago, and so it was completely worn out. Uh, so you can see it actually still has the old style uh, replacement that I got in there. Uh, I hadn't replaced it yet. I just was, I was using the, the blue one as a test unit. Um, so if you look at it here and compare it, um, you can see that the blue one uh, this is with the old school n64 um, stick that i just purchased so this is my new replacement i like i said i don't remember seeing this last time but uh, going through Amazon reviews, this seems like it's the best one. And it's very, it's pretty much, it seems to be like an identical replacement of the OEM stick. You can see it's uh, got that style of, um, I, I don't know, know exactly what you call it, but it's not like the GameCube style controllers, it's the N64 style. Uh, it's very responsive, but you can tell it's got the friction um, that the OEM, in fact, it feels exactly like uh, the OEM stick in my gold controller, only that there's a little less resistance because it's new, and you can tell it, it just returns the center a little bit better, um, and it's just a little bit more responsive. Now, it doesn't snap to center, just like the other ones did, um, and that's a complaint I heard is, oh, you know, it doesn't always uh, snap perfectly back to center. I, I haven't had any problems with that. It's, uh, it feels identical to the uh, OEM stick, and I just got done playing uh, a few rounds of Smash Brothers and a few other games to test it, and it, this was able to do it better than that worn out stick on the gold controller and um, it felt exactly the same. Um, no uh, sensitivity problems, uh, unlike the, the other replacement where, you know, it was just, it had like a dead zone from about right here to right here and then all of a sudden it's just like, you know, full sensitivity maxed out. And I, I play with high sensitivity in general and it was just, it was, it was hard to do anything with. You're constantly just over um, correcting or whatever. Um, so overall, I'm very, very pleased with this, this stick. Um, I would highly recommend it. It feels exactly like it's advertised, which is an OEM uh, replacement stick. Um, in fact, I'm going to replace it in my uh, original uh, gray controller, but I wanted to do a review uh, comparison since, um, you know, I don't think you, know, you, you get the reviews and you, you kind of get a general idea of what they're like. And of course, you know, because of the way these are made cheaply, uh, every set you're going to get, you know, you might get a bad uh, set or you might get a good set. You know, it could be just that these um, GameCube style set that I got, you know, just were defective because there's some people that say, oh, yeah, I don't have any problems with it, whatever. I've heard there's a new revision that makes it, uh, it's a softer um, 
plastic that is very similar to the GameCube and that those don't have the issues that these do. Um, but you know, after my experience with this one, I didn't really want to risk it and I wanted something that was more OEM style, which is exactly what I got. So I uh, hope you find this helpful and um, I will link both products in the description below. That way you can kind of see, um, you know, which one you want. But in this case, I would never recommend this one. Um, like I said, it's just, it's too sensitive. It um, starts drifting and then, you know, you're just having to constantly unplug and unplug your controllers like every two minutes of a game session, which is really frustrating. Uh, this old school one, I mean, it's, Comparing it to my actual OEM controller, it's exactly the same. Um, it functions the same, a little bit better, crisper. I'm sure it will wear out um, like the other one will, uh, just based on how it is. But you know, at, uh, I think it was like twelve dollars. You know, super cheap. There's and it's how easy it is to put these in. I mean, you just basically pop off the screws and um, plug it in right there, and that's all you got to do. So, uh, absolutely would recommend the old school N64 uh, sharp sharpshooter sticks.